Hi, my name is Tariq Gibson, and we're going to go through this uh, PowerPoint presentation to introduce myself uh, to you, those of you who do not know who I am. Uh, my name is Tariq Gibson. So today we're going to be looking at Photo Eclipse Training with Tariq, which is me. Um, the purpose of the training is to help those who are beginners uh, to become efficient, to be able to expedite transcripts, to be productive and professional in their relationship with the court reporter or vice versa reporters with Scopus. Um, our method of training will be Zoom online meeting. Um, we're going to present webinars. If you're not able to attend the webinar, uh, the webinar will be available for purchase at our Gibson Real-Time Training Center. This is me, um, just so you can know who I am. I, I am a professional court reporter. I've been, I started my career in 1981. And then in 2002, I started uh, officially working as a CART provider. I am a, a licensed minister and a member of Bethlehem Healing Temple Church. I uh, volunteer my time there as a Sunday school teacher, which I enjoy. Uh, I am a writer. I'm in the process of writing a book now. It's actually a prophetic ministry uh, book that I'm working on and also will be writing Christian lifestyle uh, books. Uh, I am a fitness instructor. I also do animation creations uh, for uh, those who would like to have a introduction or a call to um, at the end of the video, we have like a uh, call to, you know, whatever you would like at the end, you would have the, the name of your website, a call to action. Um, I am a songwriter. I have um, a song that I am hoping to publish. I am uh, part of a family. Um, my husband, my children, my grandchildren, who I love dearly. So these are some pictures of places I have worked and continue to work um, to this day. I do work at Boston University and also at the law school there uh, with student. I have worked at the Harvard Law School and also general classes. Um, years ago, I did work at Curry College. I was in a federal official at the United States Federal uh, Court in Boston for nine years. And also I worked at UMass Boston as a CART provider. Um, here is a picture of me. On the left-hand side, I am providing CART services. And you can see I'm sitting down. I'm, I don't know if you can see the machine, but the still machine is, is right in front of me. Uh, the projector, for the projection equipment, we have the projector and the screen that I am prov providing cart services. And on the right hand side is the stem machine that, that I use at this time. So cart services are um, very valuable to those who are deaf and hard of hearing and would like to participate in um, webinars or classroom settings, meetings, hearings, anywhere there is a spoken word, a card provider would be helpful for the deaf and hard of hearing community. I do have a target audience. Okay. So if you work with me, I will uh, teach you the foundation of the Total Eclipse software. This is for beginners. Uh, you will learn how to edit as a court reporter or a scopist. And the software also can be used for proofreading. Here I have two clips of uh, an example of me teaching. This is a student at, that I taught. Um, this is session five. Uh, and she did complete the course with me and she earned her certificate. 
of completion. And so these two um, images are showing you um, me teaching. This screen is showing the student is now showing, she's sharing her screen with me. And um, this gives her, the student, the opportunity to participate in the training and to show that they understand uh, what they're learning. Um, as a trainer, I can train on version six, seven, and eight. I do have all three versions on my computer. Uh, with version eight, uh, when I updated with version eight, it allowed me to actually capture those three uh, icons on my um, desktop. And so I'm just showing you the icons there and also the connection magic. Um, we will need that on our desktop in order to work um, with Connection Magic. And uh, teaching Connection Magic is a lot of fun. Um, those who have trained so far uh, get a lot out of that. But the key is that the reporter and the scope, it has to be on the exact same version. So what type of training do I offer? All right, so we're encouraging you to sign up today. Uh, we provide training, online Zoom meeting, that would be a one-on-one -on -one training. And in some cases we can have up to maybe five or 10 in the room. Um, so it would depend on what the student would uh, prefer. If you would prefer one-on-one um, -on -one training with me, uh, we can schedule that. And those who would like to meet in a group if you feel like you would get more out of being in a group setting, we can set up a webinar uh, for the group um, training. In a, a webinar, um, it's a little different from an online meeting. Online meeting, uh, you can see everyone in the room, they to see each other and we can chat. With the webinar, um, you can see me but you will not be able to see who else is present during the presentation, but you will be able to ask questions in the chat box. And we um, encourage you that when we do have webinars, that you sign up quickly because the first 20 people to sign up will receive a 10% discount. So that is an incentive. If you want to save a little money, sign up quickly and you can get that discount. So here I have an, an example of training uh, with a student, a student working with me. And I would like to demonstrate that and show you this training. We're recording, so you understand that we're on session one. Okay, so the first question is, how many ways are there to find help? Lots. Okay, so can you tell me what those ways are? Well, there's the help menu off of, off of, uh, off Perfect. Eclipse itself. And you can always ask another scopist. Mm. Um, I could ask my my other instructor. <laughs> <laughs> I could ask you. Okay. So there's little video clip thingies. I can't remember what they're called. Visualizers. Visualizers, yeah. I never know which one I'm supposed to look at. It's part of my problem with those. Okay. There's so many. Right. I I would I would probably be I would suggest that as you go through this training and you you will be given visualizers to review. Yes. And you most likely will not look at them again unless you feel like you need to. Okay. So that's why I like to do this training because it gets people an opportunity to actually take time to look at these visualizers because yeah. 
you know, and sometimes looking at a visualizer is not clear. It can be a little um, hard to understand what they're trying to say because you don't have the background knowledge and the experience. Right. And part of the time, I don't know if they're referring to the scoper end or the court reporter end. So getting back to these uh, dictionaries, um, so typically you would have her main, the main dictionary would be the reporter's dictionary. Okay. So in her user, you're going to get what it says trainer. Yes. The name that you give, whatever your reporters. Yep. And then um, if they give it to you, you can just read it in and then they're going to give you a job dictionary. Sometimes they give you job dictionary, sometimes they don't. Yeah. Um, so it just it depends on the relationship or how comfortable they feel about giving you their, their main dictionary. Cause that's like their baby, you know? Right, right. I understand that. It's the bread and butter. Yeah. But I don't think we really, I've I found that I don't think we really need to worry about that because everybody writes the way they write. Right. You know? Briefs? Some, nobody does the briefs the same, right? I mean, there are briefs. Some people create briefs that are that cater to whatever the topic. Yeah. So that's all. Yeah. So that's why it's good to get the job dictionary. Okay. But before you start scoping, look through that job dictionary so you can kind of get familiar. Okay. With some something that you may not have known. Okay. Um, Okay, so that's the end of that. That's a demonstration of me working with a student. And uh, I found that as I work with people, we tend to develop a report with one another. And uh, it's, a, it's a great experience just for the student and the trainer. Uh, the benefits of working with me, um, I'm very experienced and when it comes to court reporting and producing transcripts because I've been working as a reporter for over 35 years. I started in the year of 1981. Um, I have been working with uh, Total Eclipse software for 17 years. Uh, for a period of time there, I was actually working with um, Stenograph's product, but then I switched over to Total Eclipse. Okay, um, another benefit of uh, working with me is that um, as I train um, people on Total Eclipse, I am also steady, uh, still working as a court recorder and as a card provider. So I will have fresh material. Uh, we will be working from transcripts from court or deposition work um, or court or cart jobs that I find there are some things in there that would be uh, helpful in training. I find that um, using fresh material is very helpful. Also, the other benefit you will have is that you will have an opportunity to do some editing and uh, we will work on Connection Magic. But again, remember that in order for us to work together with Connection Magic, you would have to have the same exact um, version um, in order for the Connection Magic to work with both uh, Scopus and Reporter. And, uh, that would be a great experience. Um, if you, if you, I usually keep my software up to date to the like to the latest version and version eight, uh, version seven. Uh, I have the last version. So if you have version seven and you kept your updates up to the last one, uh, we can work together on Connection Magic and version seven. That would work out fine. Uh, as far as version eight, uh, we would have to actually be on the exact same version or for the version and eight and eight to work uh, properly. So if you decide you would like to work with me, uh, this is how you would contact me. Number one, you can go to my website, uh, www.gibsonrealtimereporting.com. And you go to the, you click on the event tab, and then we have what's called the new events. And that would give you the uh, webinars that, uh, that would be available as they come up. Um, I do plan to try to have webinars uh, once a week or once every other week, depending on how busy I get. 
Uh, so if you would like to do a training with me, um, would like to check out what we're doing, um, checking out the new events would be uh, the best bet. Uh, if you would like to do one-on-one -on -one training, again, you can go online to and click on that event tab and then go to the sign up now and this will get you on our, our, on our contact list. Also, you can go to contact us from the website and click on the contact tab and fill out the contact form and submit our, our request or questions. Um, I think that would be the best uh, thing uh, if you want a response the same day would be to just go to the contact us form and fill that out and I will get back to you on the same day. We do plan to have uh, training for topics specific and if you would like to make a request for a topic or a specific for a specific webinar or training uh, let us know contact us and uh, we'll create one for you and we'll have it in the uh, Gibson Real-Time Training Center is where you can pick that up. So uh, anything that we post uh, as far as uh, webinars and uh, topic specific, uh, depending on how long the webinars are, uh, um, I believe that the 1.5 webinars are $49. And if the webinar is one hour, uh, we may give a little discount. Uh, just Stay tuned for further developments regarding that. Um, our Gibson Real Time Training Center is on the Thinkific uh, website. And so, in order to get to the uh, Gibson Real Time Training Center, uh, it would be uh, Gibson hyphen real time hyphen training hyphen center dot dot com. That's where we house our courses. So, we do have a new event coming up. It's on our calendar. Uh, we're going to have a webinar. It's a foundation training, session one, date May 12, 2017, and the time 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the cost for this webinar is $49. So this is session one. Okay, note that if you're not able to attend the webinar, uh, it will be available at our Gibson Real Time Training Center. So that ends our presentation for today. If you have any questions, um, we can check um, and see if there's any questions and we, we can go over the questions. And I encourage you to sign up today.